Dear students, greetings of the day. In today's class, we are going to study the linen room operations of a hotel. We will focus on the types of linen today. The learning objectives for today's class are understand the classification of hotel linen, list the various examples of each type of hotel linen. The hotel linen is classified as bed linen, bath linen, table or restaurant linen and soft furnishings. The bed linen includes bed sheets and pillowcases, blankets, bed spreads, mattress protector, pillows, duvets or comforters, duvet covers and runners. Let's look at the bed sheets and pillowcases and what it should be made up of. It should have a good finish usually with a slight luster and be made from a non-crease fabric so as to retain its appearance. For comfort, the texture should be soft and smooth, absorbent and free from static. They should be easily launderable and the fabric should not lose color in repeated washes. We usually use white colored bed linen in the hotel which may turn little yellowish after repeated washes. The life of the bed sheet is measured in the number of washes it can sustain. So 500 washes is a good number for a bed sheet to retain its color. Egyptian cotton or cotton blends are used for the bed sheets. The other major for looking at the quality of the bed sheets is the thread count. It refers to the number of horizontal and vertical threads called as warp and weft per square inch of the fabric. Generally, the higher the thread count, that is the more the warp and wefts, the softer the sheet and the more likely it will wear well. Good sheets have a thread count which range anywhere from 200 to 800 and a few times over 1000. Blankets. They should be warm and heavyweight even though not used much today in the hotels. Bedspreads. It should complement the color and the design elements in the guest room. They should be durable and easy to maintain. Mattress protector is used to protect the mattress from spills and stains. Pillows. Pillows should neither be too soft nor too hard. Natural feelings may be used like down which are the feathers of goose or polyester fibers may also be used to fill the pillows. Duvets. Duvets have become increasingly popular in hotels and are fast replacing the black blanket, especially on double beds. They consist of a filling which is sandwiched in a fabric case with a changeable cover. That's the duvet cover. Runners. Runners are placed as decorative pieces on the bed. The next classification is the bath linen. The bath linen includes the bath towels, bath sheets, bath mats, hand towels, face towels, washcloth, shark curtains and bath robes. The most important requirement for bath linen or toweling material is that it should be absorbent, durable and soft. It should have about 100% cotton and an uncut pile weave with 1 and 8 inch, 1 8 inch height. The bath sheets are slightly bigger than the bath towels. When we look at the bath mats, they should also be little heavier and thicker to serve the purpose. Face towels and washcloths are usually used to wipe the face or clean the face. 
sharp curtains are placed between the areas of the uh, WC and the shar areas to protect the shar area. The next classification is the table linen. Table linen should have both practical and aesthetic use and it should be presented clean, fresh and crisp. It includes the tablecloths, the napkins which are called as serviettes, slip cloth, underlays, skirts, frills and runners and waiter's cloth. The next is soft furnishings. The soft furnishings include the curtains, cushions, cushion covers, carpets and rugs, sofas, fabric blinds, window treatments, bolsters and lamp shades. What do you mean by soft furnishing? It is a term which is referred for curtains, furnishings and other coverings which are made of cloth and used to decorate a guest room. Here I have shown a picture of a valance which is a window treatment which is a part of the soft furnishing. Now any treatment which is given to the window apart from the curtains or even curtains could also be a window treatment. Here the picture shows the valance which is put up on the window. Let's look at the selection criteria for linen. The first factor is the strength. The strength of the fabric depends upon the type of fiber used. Synthetic fibers have more strength than natural ones. The type of weave and the closeness of the weave also affect the fabric strength. So the closer the weave, the stronger it would be. The next factor is laundering. Linen and laundering costs come right after the labor cost on the list of highest expenditures. Synthetics require lower temperatures and shorter cycles while laundering than cotton, which is a natural fiber. The next factor is comfort. This depends on the feel, texture, softness and weight of the cloth. Any fabric that comes into contact with the skin must be absorbent and comfortable. Cottons are preferred. They have very high absorbency compared to the synthetics. So the natural fibers are always more comfortable than the synthetic or the man-made fibers. Shrinkage. Synthetics do not shrink whereas natural fibers shrink by about 6 to 8 percent unless they have been sanforized. Sanforized is a treatment which is given to the fiber so that there is no shrinkage. It is an anti-shrinkage treatment given to the fiber and then the fiber is woven into fabric so that there is less shrinkage. Wool usually loses its shape if not carefully laundered. So you have to be careful when you are laundering the wool articles. The next factor to be considered when you are selecting linen is the color. Pattern, textures and color in the fabric can impact the character of the room. At the same time, one should not forget the need for ease of maintenance. Most hotels prefer white linen as they can be safely laundered without fear of their color fading. Dark colored fabrics show dust and lighter marks whereas light color ones show dirt and stain easily. The next factor is the pattern and the texture. Large patterns can make a large area look filled and vice versa. As for texture, a more open texture collects more dust and dirt and hence not preferred. The next factor is flame retardancy. There are various finishes which are given to the fabrics. Flame retardancy is one of the finish which is given to the fabric 
before we use it for curtains or upholstery or any other purpose. Flame retardant fabrics can be used for drapery, upholstery and carpets. The last factor is the thermal insulation. The warm, warmth of the fabric is determined by its thermal insulation properties. It is measured in units called TOGS. This must be checked for blankets. Drapery should also help to maintain the temperature of a room to some extent. So these are the factors you need to keep in mind when you are selecting linen. All factors may not be applicable for all type of linen but most of the factors may be applicable for the selection of linen. Some terminologies which I want you all to learn. Euro or continental pillow is a large square decorative pillow which sits back against the headboard. Bolster pillow. A bolster pillow is a tibular pillow used for lumbar support while sitting up to read in the bed but more often it is used as a decorative pillow or as an ascent pillow. Pillow shams or shams are pillows used to support when sitting in the bed and as a decoration during the day. Mattress pad or protector also called a mattress topper or under pad. This layer of padding is used above the mattress and beneath a bottom sheet to add comfort and also to absorb the spillages. Monogramming. The name or the logo of the establishment is put onto the linen for identification. Now usually this comes as a imprinted thing from the manufacturer. We do not actually sit and do the embroidery or do the stitching of the logos. Molten. They are used on restaurant tables which do not have a base. Now base is something which actually helps to prevent the noise of the cutlery. It absorbs the spillages. So in case you do not have a base topping on the restaurant table, which is fitted on the restaurant table, then you may have a molten which is used instead. Banquet frills. Jupone. These frills are colored and lustrous ones made from satin or rayon which may be plain or patterned. Down which we spoke about. It's a soft fluffy feathers of adult geese. It is used to fill the pillows. Capoc again used for filling the pillows. It is obtained from the silk cotton tree which is cheap, soft and resilient. Thread count we spoke about. Tapestry a piece of thick textile fabric with designs formed by weaving colored weft threads or by embroidering on canvas. It is usually used as a wall hanging or as a soft furnishing. It's a piece of fabric basically. Upholstery, soft padded textile covering that is fixed to furniture such as armchairs and sofas. So some of the terms like upholstery, tapestry, draperies are very often used for furnishings. Now drapery is something which is where we hang for example curtains whatever is hanging is a drapery but these terms are very often used as synonyms tapestry, upholstery and drapery. The references are taken from Hotel Housekeeping Operations and Management book by Raghubalan. Please attempt the quiz on Linen Room Part 2. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for watching this video.